I'm Norma Medina Tis from the Seminole County Library, and I'm reading Martina the Beautiful Code Rage. This book is really important to me because it really shows how the Cuban culture is. Martina Josefina Catalina Cucaracha was a beautiful cockroach. She lived in a cozy street lamp in Old Havana with her big, lovable family. Now that Martina was 21 days old, she was ready to give her leg in marriage. The Cucaracha household was crawling with excitement. Every señora in the family had something to offer. Tia Cuca gave her una peineta, a seashell comb. Mama gave her una mantilla, a lace shawl. But Abuela, her Cuban grandmother, gave her un consejo increíble. Some shocking advice. You want me to do what? Martina was asked. You're a beautiful cockroach, said Abuela. Finding husbands to choose from will be easy. Picking the right one could be tricky. But, stammered Martina, how will spilling coffee on a suitor's shoes help me find a good husband? Her grandmother smiled. It will make him angry. Then you will know how he will speak to you when he loses his temper. Trust me, Martina. The coffee test never fails. Martina wasn't so sure. Meanwhile, Papa sent El Perico, the parrot, to spread the word. Soon, all Havana from the busy sidewalks of El Prado to El Moro Castle was abuzz with news. Martina, the beautiful cockroach, was ready to choose a husband. As it was the custom, Martina would greet her suitors from the balcony under her family's many watchful eyes. Gently, she sat down and crossed her legs, and crossed her legs, and crossed her legs. She didn't have long to wait. Don Gallo, the rooster, stirred up first. Martina tried not to stare at his splendid shoes. Keeping one eye in his reflection, Don Gallo greeted her with a sweeping bow. Caramba! You really are a beautiful cockroach. I will look even more fabulous with you on my wing. With that, he leaned forward and crooned. Martina, Josefina, Catalina, Cucaracha, beautiful muchacha, won't you be my wife? <laughs>